backward. Um, we believe, uh, as we've been saying for quite some time, that the bull market is alive and well, and it is broadening towards value uh, and cyclical sectors. Uh, or maybe I should say it has broadened. This has happened, and we thought it would, and we thought it would hurt innovation-oriented strategies. It has done that as well. Now, if we're right and everything I just um, suggested based on the evidence we're seeing occurs, then these cyclical sectors are setting up uh, for a fall. And that should accrue to the benefit of uh, innovation. Why is that? Well, when, cyclic when we get into a recovery, the early stages of a recovery, um, uh, are when the cyclicals see a burst in revenues and earnings. And they give uh, more growth-oriented and innovation-oriented stocks a run for their money. These growth rates are, are competitive. They're not sustainable, but at least they're competitive in the short term. And very much of the market is short-term oriented. As you know, our investment time horizon is not one quarter or one year. It is five years. So our innovation-based strategies uh, are suggesting that, um, that the returns uh, available uh, or likely, can't promise anything here, of course, um, to innovation-based strategies have increased. I mean, it's, it's just arithmetic. Our price targets have not changed. The prices have come down short term. Uh, and so uh, our rates of return over the next uh, uh, five years have gone up fairly dramatically. Uh, and we think uh, that innovation is due for a catch-up. We think this uh, cyclical reset uh, will be that opportunity.